Yeah, so one thing uh, I was trying to figure out how to get off is this lower sprocket on the crank. And the best way I could come up with is uh, using a bearing puller. Now, fairly straightforward on how to use a bearing puller. And if you already know how to use a bearing puller, you might just skip the video at this point in time and say, thanks very much, I will use my bearing puller. But if you want to see how this goes, let's see how it goes. Probably going to have to slip it on versus slide it over. I don't think it's going to go wide enough to get over to that sprocket. So let's do that. So, of course it's not a bearing, it's a sprocket. So it kind of doesn't fit exactly like you would on a bearing because it's not going right around it, but it's got enough of the teeth to grip onto it or she should work. Now the one thing I did before I took this off just to try and make my life easier is I put it to where the factory dot is pointing straight up and number one is at um, top dead center. So this to make my life a little easier. Okay, let's put these extensions on. Now, the reason why I'm going this way is I tried all manner of nonsense, which included trying to use a harmonic balance puller, and I'll save you the trouble, it doesn't work that well. <clears throat> and the reason was, uh, the reason was, is that, oh, gloves are great and all, but man, you drop a washer, forget about it. It's like a magnet on the floor. Um, the reason why it didn't work so well is that it would slip off. So it was not helping me at all. You would get like two of the teeth would, I was using a three type style one. That's the one that I had fit in there kind of. Two of the teeth were great. And then the third one, no bueno. Okay, so uh, I did this. I'm doing this live, so I don't know if I've got... I do not. Hold on, just need to get inside. Okay, socket. Um, the original crank bolt is in here. I'm not using the new one I've got. I've actually got a hardened one. And a replacement one did come with uh, my kit. Um, it does have a point on it. It should be okay. We okay. let's see how she does it. Now, am I not using an impact? I'm not using an impact. Why? Because I just want to go slow and steady with it. Just in case I get teeth breaking, I don't know what the heck's gonna happen. You are watching this as I learn it. It does feel like it's moving. Yay. Now, I don't know if I would use this method if you plan on reusing this sprocket for some odd reason, because you might be damaging the teeth right now. But I'm swapping it out, so I don't really care. So take that as a don't try this at home, folks. There you go. She popped. Okay, let's get this all off. So I was barely using any force. I, you don't have to, like, I, I wouldn't use an impact. Not to like make myself sound like I was doing the right thing from the get-go, but the reason why I wouldn't use an impact is 
who knows what you could damage if you go too fast and you really don't need to use one. It's on there with enough pressure that you need to have some tool to take it off, but not enough where you have to go after it with an impact and destroy something by accident. But there you go. Just like that, she's off.